Thank you, Tony. And while we've certainly seen worse storms here in southern New England, this one wasn't without its problems. And that includes power outages and making an already tough job even harder for firefighters. Iowa News reporter Steph Machado continues our Pinpoint Weather Team coverage now live from the Mobile Newsroom. We had for wind speeds last night, but still windy enough to make it a little tough to hold an umbrella. And tonight we're taking a look at what uh, impact this storm has had on our area. The nor'easter battered southern New England with rain and wind, bringing high waves. These surfers taking advantage in South Kingstown and some rough going on the roads. Winds that gusted up to 60 miles per hour caused power outages all across Rhode Island. National Grid says from 6 p.m. Monday into Tuesday morning, 7,186 customers in total lost power. Everyone was back on by Tuesday afternoon. The wind also played a role in this early morning fire that destroyed a home in Middletown. Fire Chief Ron Dory says the wind gusts fanned the flames and proved dangerous for the firefighters. Make it very dangerous to be inside of a, a building when you're fighting a fire. Uh, as they uh, open up doors and windows, uh, the wind can really uh, create a very dangerous situation for firefighters when they're inside the building. It was above freezing for this nor'easter. If not, the Pinpoint Weather Team says it would have dumped more than a foot and a half of snow on our area. Instead, we just got rain, which means cities like Cranston and Providence tell us they still have plenty of funds left in their snow budgets for the rest of the winter. So we're in really good shape. You know, we, um, we've had a fairly mild winter, uh, but what we've done over previous years is we've also increased the number that we put into the snow budget. And now the Middletown fire chief said because it was above freezing, at least the firefighters there did not have to deal with icy conditions while they fight, fought that destructive fire there. We'll have much more on that house fire coming up new at 6. Reporting live from the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.